Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a really awesome Plex and Kodi alternative for your non jailbroken devices. This is in fact an iPhone 7 Plus. And in today's video, we are going to be highlighting an application called Unity. Now this is a really awesome app that I came across recently and it provides a very, very streamlined place for all of your media housed on your computer. You guys can pick up Unity in the cards right now or down below in the description. And for those of you who don't know, let me kind of tell you and walk you through the concept of something like a Plex or a Kodi Media Server. Essentially what you do is you have the files stored on your computer and then you install the server software on said computer and as long as it's running or even in a hibernation state, just so long as it is connected to the internet like the latest Macs with the flash storage, then you can access the data on those devices seamlessly on your iOS devices. And it's different from iCloud in the sense that you can not only browse through all of your files, but it's not actually stored on the cloud and it's not downloaded to your iOS device. It just stays on your computer and the connection is just established between your device and the computer thanks to the software that you install on your computer. So before we actually get into the application, let me walk you through the setup process, which can either be done on a Windows-based PC or a Mac. Essentially, all you have to do is just navigate to the Unity website and then download the software and then just go through the basic install prompts. It's really just as easy as that. There are a few preferences that you can actually set up, but it will automatically scan your entire computer's hard drive or SSD and it will locate media automatically. However, you can of course just specify specific specific locations where you want it to pull from if you don't want all of the files on your computer to be listed and indexed through Unity. So let me give you guys an example. Once it is set up, which by the way only takes a couple of quick minutes, then you are greeted with this interface after just signing into the exact same account you used for the sign up process on your computer. In fact, you can even log in through either Google or Facebook, very, very simple stuff. But once you load up the application and you're already signed in, you have some categories over on the left hand side. It breaks it down into music, videos, photos, files, sharing so you can deem who you want to actually access your Unity server. You can actually search for specific files, settings, help and support, and you can invite friends which again ties into the sharing aspect. And what's really cool is that the music that it pulls provided you give access actually comes straight from iTunes. So if we go here, we can go to songs and you can see here are all of my songs on my computer. In fact, it actually pulls additional things. You can see here a couple of my videos as well and just some default sounds that I have beneath that. But if you wanted to play one, let's just go through it. It gives you a really nice interface and it is in fact playing. It might be kind of hard to pick it up though because it was down. But as you can see, it definitely plays. It does a really awesome job. I absolutely love the interface of it. And in fact, you can actually airplay it as well if you have any devices set up. You can see I can send it straight to my Airport Express, which is a really, really cool feature if you have external speakers plugged into something like an Airport Express. So let's go ahead and hit cancel to that. And we're going to back out. That's basically just a quick overview of the music section. You can also search from directly with inside music. After initially tapping it off of the main menu here, you do have some additional options. You can view specific artists, albums, songs, genres, playlists, and podcasts. So you can create playlists through this as well. And up at the top, after you do access your main menu, you have the ability to quickly return to the currently playing media, whether that's a movie, a TV show, or in this case, music. Speaking of videos, let's go over to that section really quick. It does intelligently sort them. And in fact, if you do have a GoPro, it will automatically determine what video file were shot with the GoPro so that way you can quickly show off all of your GoPro footage to your friends if you're on the go and you have some really awesome footage stored on your computer. But let's just go ahead and tap on all and you guys can see we just have the specific file names listed here. Keep in mind this can be any media that you obtain from anywhere just so long as it is on your computer and you do grant access to it through Unity. So let's go ahead and back on out of here because I actually want to show you guys the movies section. So when we go ahead and tap on movies now, instead of just inside of the all area, we can actually play a movie. Let's go ahead and tap on resume playing because I was already playing it previously and it picks right up from where I left off. You guys can see that was so incredibly quick. Let's actually just go ahead and play and we can scrub ahead here and you can tell that it does pick right up a 
immediately. So guys, this is Batman Begins Inside of Unity. Really awesome movie, by the way. And let me show you exactly where it is on my computer. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over here. You can see that Batman Begins is in this specific folder right here, guys. So this is really awesome stuff. We're neither pulling from the cloud nor from device memory. So this is very awesome if you happen to be incredibly low on device memory and you do have internet connectivity. So backing out here, again, as I said, it also breaks down the video section here. We can just go to all movies, home movies, TV shows, or GoPro footage. And if we go ahead and back on out, we have the exact same thing for both photos as well as files. So if we go ahead and tap on into photos here, we can actually navigate specific drives that are listed. Let's just go simply for the sake of this video inside of Dropbox. And then we can go inside of this folder here. And as you can see, you can view all of your images as well. All you have to do is just specify specific folders for images inside of Unity or if you have it scan your entire drive, which it does by default, you can just navigate to that specific file path, which is exactly what I did right there for that demonstration. So guys, this is Unity in a nutshell. It's very simple, very straightforward, and again, it provides access to all of your media, whether it be music, videos, photos, or just files in general. And the best part is, is that so long as you're on the Wi-Fi network of your Unity machine, you do not have to do anything. You just set it up on both devices, and then you're good to go. It's basically just plug and play with your account information and just letting it scan your computer and or specifying specific file paths. But if you want to access it on the go, let me show you what happens when we turn off Wi-Fi here. We're going to be prompted to sign up for a subscription plan. So let's go back out of there and then navigate to videos. And then we're going to go to movies again. And we're going to go to the Batman movie. And guys, so this is one of the absolute cheapest options. You can see it's only $2.99 a month and you in fact get a seven day free trial. I highly recommend it. And the best part is that not only do you get access from remote networks, including when you're on cellular, as you can see, we are on AT&T's LTE network right now, but you can also fully download files to your device, which is fantastic. If let's say you're traveling or going on an airplane and you do want to watch movies, but you have limited storage, you can just download them through the application and then delete them and just swap them out with other movies on your computer at the time of your choosing. This is a fantastic application for media management. I highly recommend it. There is a link to Unity down below in the description. It was also in your cards earlier as well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.